Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to match the color grading of a movie to any photo, and then how to save that color grading so you can apply it to any photo you like in the future. Now, there are two methods that I'm going to show you. One is a super quick way to do it, and the other is a little more complex, but it's a better solution. So in this case, we have the matrix screenshot, and we're going to apply it to this photo. The first way we can do it is to go to Image, Adjustments, and Match Color. And we get this window right here. And basically, the target is this photo that we're looking at right now. And the source is going to be the Matrix Screenshot. It instantly applied the Matrix Color Grading to our photo. We can adjust the luminance or brightness the color intensity, as well as fade out the color grading, which shows more of our original photo through it. I'll cancel this since I'll now show you a more accurate way to match its color grade to our photos by picking the shadows, midtones, and highlights from the movie's screenshot. The way to do this is to go to File, Export, and Save for Web. Now its default is 256 colors. We'll make it three. One for the highlights, one for the shadows, and one for the midtones. We'll make it perceptual and no dither. We'll click Save. We'll save it to our desktop and click Save. Now go to File and open. Navigate to your desktop and click the Save for Web image. Then click Open. All right. Now because we saved it to the web, notice the format mode is Index. We need to change it to RGB color. So go into Image, Mode, and RGB color. Now, open your Rectangular Marquee Tool and drag over your image that includes the shadows, highlights, and midtones. Now, press Ctrl or Command J to cut it out. Press V to open your Move Tool and drag it onto a photo that you'd like to change its color grade to. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Click on your photo to make it active. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Curves. I'll drag it down a little bit so we can see the entire panel. Click this icon so you see the white frame around it. By default, for some reason, Adobe chose the layer mask to be active, but in fact, to make any adjustments, we need to make this portion active. So <laughs> make sure you do that. All right, now there are three eyedropper tools here. This represents the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. Double click the highlights icon and click the lightest color, then click OK. We do not want to save the target colors as defaults, so click No. Click on a light area of your photo. Double click the shadows icon, click the darkest color, click OK, click No, and click a dark area of your image. Double click the midtones and click the midtone of your image. Then click OK, click No, and click a midtone of your image, and there you go. Now you can move it around. It will, in fact, change the midtone colors. That feels about right. I'll click the eyeball icon to hide the colors. If you want to save this curves adjustment, click the icon at the upper right, click Save Curves Preset, and type in whatever you'd like. I'll type in Matrix. Then I'll click Save. So now, if we open up another photo and we want to apply the matrix color grading to this, 
Click the Adjustment Layer icon, click Curves, and make sure the Curves layer is active and not the layer mask. Open up the preset list and click Matrix. And we now have a matrix color grading. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.